Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to do an ammo test that was suggested to me by a viewer. Uh, the last few videos I've tested ammo that was fairly expensive and kind of considered to be uh, premium self-defense hollow point ammo. So today we're going to shoot two of the cheapest hollow points that I could find and see how they perform compared to um, some of the higher end, more expensive premium self-defense rounds. So the ammo that we have is the 115 grain Remington UMC jacketed hollow point and the 147 grain Winchester white box jacketed hollow point. Now I picked both of these up at Walmart and the Remington UMC was about $31 for 100 rounds and the Winchester uh, white box was $20 for 50 rounds. Uh, that's about half of what you're going to pay for more expensive, you know, what's considered to be top of the line self-defense ammo. So uh, it's definitely super cheap and I'm just kind of curious to see uh, how it performs compared to um, you know a lot of the other stuff we've tested on this channel but i'm going to shoot a couple magazines of each of these rounds and uh, see how reliable they are and then we will start the test first we're going to shoot the 147 grain winchester white box out of my glock 17. i got an old metal toolbox down there so we're just going to shoot 15 rounds at that and see how reliable these are Right now we're shooting the 115 grain Remington UMC. I don't know if you can see that, but these bullets are just bouncing off that toolbox. It's definitely not going through that. UMC ran fine as well. I want to show you this toolbox we were just shooting. It's kind of crazy. So you can see a lot of those holes are from like rifle rounds and shotgun slugs and stuff, but all those dents that you see in there are from uh, the pistol rounds we were just shooting. And then you can see on the ground there, all these are the bullets we were just shooting at it, just bouncing right off and completely opening up. All right guys, now we're going to start the ballistic shell test. The first bullet we're going to shoot is the Winchester White Box 147 grain. I have my clear ballistics 20% ballistic shell block down range. So, let's see what it does. Alright, so the Winchester white box went in, didn't really have much of a temporary wound cavity at all. Keeps going, keeps going, and stops just short of leaving that block. Now, this is the furthest I've ever had a bullet go into uh, the bare ballistic shell block. Now, that might be because it didn't expand all the way. But you can see that bullet right there. I mean, it's, it's knocking on the door. Almost left that shell block, so... We'll dig that out here in a minute and take a look at it, but that's definitely the furthest I've ever had a pistol round go into that gel block. And like I said, it didn't really have uh, much of a wound channel, so that tells me it probably didn't expand all the way like it's supposed to. All right, next we're doing the Remington UMC 115 grain hollow point, also out of the Glock 17. The Remington UMC is the one on top. It had a, a slightly bigger wound channel than the Winchester did, and it came to a stop several inches shorter. We're gonna dig those bullets out here in a minute and see what the expansion looks like. But for right now, the Winchester went further into the gel. All right, so the Winchester 147 grain is on the bottom, and it stopped at 15 inches and the Remington UMC stopped at about 11 and a half inches. So between 11 
and 12 is what I'm getting out of most of the, the other bullets that I've tested in this as far as pistol ammo. So where the Remington stopped seems like it might have expanded all the way and it looks like it might have as well. But I'm curious to see what that Winchester looks like because for it to go that deep and not really have a, a big wound channel like the others have, um, you know, it makes me kind of skeptical. I'm gonna go ahead now and do a couple other tests. I'm, I got some 100% uh, cotton t-shirts out here as well as denim and I'm going to um, start with the cotton t-shirt pieces and put a couple of those over the front of this gel block and see um, how they do after going through those. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those on there and we'll run that test. All right guys, now we're doing the Winchester white box 147 grain again. This time I have two layers of cotton t-shirt squares in front of that gel block and I have water jugs behind the gel block to stop it if it over penetrates. So that's why the camera's angled down so far. I'm gonna have to lay down on my belly for this one because I have the gel block pretty much on the ground. So let's see how it does. All right, so the one we just shot through the t-shirt is on the bottom. And you can see it continues going, goes out the gel block and hit our first water jug. And you can see it is leaking water. And it appears that that bullet went inside that water jug and is laying on the bottom. So let's see if we can get it out. All right, there's our Winchester white box that I got out of that water jug. And you can see it's got pretty poor expansion didn't really open up very much at all. That t-shirt might have stopped it from expanding. Even though in the gel block without the t-shirt it didn't really expand very well either. So now after we get done doing the next one we will take out the bullets from inside that gel and see what they look like. But there's the Winchester white box after passing through the t-shirt and stopping inside of our first water jug. All right, next we're gonna try the Remington UMC 115 grain hollow point, also through two layers of cotton t-shirt squares. Alright, the Remington UMC is the one on the bottom there, and you can see that it expanded pretty well, and it definitely went a little bit further than it did the first time. There's the first bullet there without the t-shirt, so um, it appears that maybe it did stop it from expanding for just a minute, but it only went a couple inches further, and looks like it completely expanded and did not leave the gel block. And the... Remington UMC went about 13 and a half inches after passing through that t-shirt. All right guys, so it looks like we found the failure point of the Winchester white box hollow points. Um, even in the bare ballistics gel, it almost left that block and doesn't look like it expanded very well. Uh, I'll take that bullet out here in a minute and we'll take a look at it. Um, but the Remington UMC is doing a little bit better. Through the bare gel and through the t-shirt squares, it stopped and expanded um, both times. So. Now what I'm going to do is shoot the Remington UMC one more time, uh, this time through two denim squares. Now, these are the same denim squares that I used in my HST and Gold Dot video. However, that was through four squares. Right now I'm starting with two, and if this passes this test and stops, then I'll work my way up to four. Um, but for now we're going to do two. So Remington UMC, hollow point, through two denim squares into the gel block. Alright guys, so this is pretty impressive. The Remington UMC through two layers of denim is the one right in the middle right there. And it stopped inside of our gel block. 
and looks like it expanded pretty well again. So decent wound cavity, it definitely expanded fairly early and did not leave the gel block. It looks like it stopped right around 15 inches. So, all right, so now I'm gonna step it up and go for the four layers of denim. Now, I'm already really impressed, but if this passes this test, um, I mean, this will be really impressive to me for the money that this bullet is doing this well. So, let's see. All right, guys, now we're gonna do the Remington UMC 115 grain into four layers of denim. Uh, if you didn't see my last video where I did the four layer denim test, um, basically, the Spear Gold Dot and the Federal HST both uh, passed all the way through the gel block and the only bullet that I've had stay in that gel through four layers of denim was the Hornady Critical Duty. So um, I'm kind of curious to see how the Remington does in this test because it is such a cheap bullet and um, it's done better than I thought it would up to this point. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot it into four layers of denim with the water jug behind it and we'll see how it does. The UMC through four layers of denim went in right here and you can see it went through the gel and continued going. Looks like it left our gel block, went into the water jug and look at that. It's literally poking through the edge of that water jug and stopped just before exiting the water and I'll dig that bullet out here in a second but it does look like it expanded um, now whether that happened in the gel or in the water I'm not sure it definitely um, looks like it somewhat expanded inside the gel and just not enough to stop it from leaving the block and going into our water jug. All right guys, so I have all these hollow points that I got out of the gel block and out of the water jugs. And these are the first two that we shot. The one on the left is the Winchester white box that we shot into the bare gel. And the one on the right is the Remington UMC that we shot into the bare gel. And you can see the difference in expansion. Uh, the Winchester white box just uh, did not expand as much as the Remington UMC did. Uh, the Remington UMC has really good expansion, especially for the price of this bullet, like I was saying. I mean, that's a, a really good hollow point round for that price. You can also see the difference in how they flattened out. The Winchester didn't flatten out hardly at all, and the UMC uh, flattened out quite a bit, as well as expanded quite a bit more. So that's the bare ballistics gel block. Now moving on to the uh, t-shirt test that we did. The one on the left, again, is the Winchester white box, and the one on the right is the Remington UMC. And I don't know if you can see, but there's actually a piece of t-shirt stuck inside of that cavity of that Winchester white box round. And I would say that that stopped it from expanding all the way, but it pretty much looks identical to the first one that we shot with no t-shirt. It might have expanded just a little bit less, but you can't really you know, blame the lack of expansion on that t-shirt whenever the first one didn't expand much more than the second one did. But comparing the second Remington UMC to the first Remington UMC, um, the one that went through the t-shirt on the right performed pretty much the same. Again, maybe slightly less expansion, but for the most part, it still did really well and expanded and flattened almost identical to the first one. Now at that point, we stopped shooting the Winchester white box because it was just not staying in that gel block. So these last two here are the last two Remington UMCs that we shot. Um, both of these were through denim. Now this one on the left here is the one we shot through two layers of denim and it did stay in the gel block 
and as you can see expanded and flattened out maybe a little bit less than the first two here I'll put them next to it so you can see so those are the three in order that we shot the one on the left is no barrier the one in the middle is through the t-shirt and the one on the right is through two layers of denim and they all three expanded and stopped in the gel block now this fourth one over here is the one that we recovered from the water jug through four layers of denim and it's still expanded but obviously I don't know if it shed that denim you know halfway through the gel block and just didn't have enough time to expand and stay in the gel or if it didn't expand at all until it hit the water jug and then was able to shed that denim and expand but either way it did end up expanding and we found it in the water jug looking like that so there's our four Remington UMC's that we shot and I'm really impressed with this uh, bullet for the price just I mean one of the cheapest bullets you're ever gonna find as far as hollow points go and those first three stopped inside that gel block which is about as much as I would expect out of a expensive premium self-defense round but that's about it for me today guys I hope you enjoyed the video like I said this uh, went a little longer than I expected it to I didn't expect either one of these to uh, make it you know past the t-shirt test and uh, the Remington UMC kind of surprised me so uh, if you have anything else you'd like to see go ahead and leave a comment for me if you like this video please give it a thumbs up for me thanks for watching and I'll see you next time